Happy New Year everyone! This is Teacher Riza. Welcome to our general mathematics class. Our first topic for second quarter is simple interest and compound interest. With learning competency, illustrate simple and compound interest. But before we're going to proceed to our lesson, let us discuss some definition of terms which is related in our topic. The first one is lender or creditor. It is a person or institution who invests the money or make the funds available. Borrower or debtor. It is a person or institution who owes the money or bills of the funds from the lender. Origin or loan date. It is a date on which money is received by the borrower. Repayment date or maturity date. It is a date on which the money borrowed or loan is to be completely repaid. Time or term. It is an amount of time in years the money is borrowed or invested. It is the length of time between the origin and maturity dates. Principal. It is an amount of money borrowed or invested on the origin date. Rate. It is an annual rate usually in percent charged by the lender or rate of increase of the investment. Interest. It is an amount paid or earned for the use of money. Simple interest. It is an interest that is computed on the principal and then added to it. Compound interest. It is an interest computed on the principal and also on the accumulated past interest. Maturity value or future value. It is an amount of money after three years that the lender receives from the borrower on the maturity date. Now, let's try to Analyze and solve this problem. Suppose you won 10,000 pesos and you plan to invest it for 5 years. A cooperative group offers 2% simple interest rate per year. And the bank offers 2% compounded annually. Which will you choose and why? Remember that there are two offers. The first one is the cooperative group offers 2% simple interest rate per year. And the second one is a bank offers 2% compounded annually. So what are given the problems? The first one is the principal which is 10,000 pesos. And the rate is 2%. Both for simple interest and compounded interest. Time is 5 years. To solve for simple interest, we're going to multiply the principal times rate times time or that is I is equal to PRT. So let's compute for the first year. At the end of first year, the interest is the principal which is 10,000 pesos times rate which is 2% or 0 0.02 times 1 which is equal to 200 pesos. To find for the maturity date, we're going to add the interest which is 200 to the principal 10,000 pesos. So we have 10,200 pesos. At the end of its second year, 10,000 times the rate 0 0.02 times time for this time is 2 which is equivalent to 400 pesos. To find for the maturity value, we're going to add 10,000 plus the interest 400. So we have 10,400 pesos. At the end of its third year, the interest is the principal 10,000 times the rate 0 0.02 times T, which is 3, which is equivalent to 600 pesos. To find for the maturity value, 10,000 plus 600, which is equivalent to 10,600 pesos. At the end, it's fourth year. We have the interest is 10,000 pesos 
times 0 0.02 times 4, which is equal to 800 pesos. To find for the maturity value, add the principal 10,000 plus 800. So we have 10,800 pesos. At the end of its fifth year, we have the interest is 10,000, which is the principal times the rate 0 0.02 times 5, which is equivalent to 1,000 pesos. Then to find for the maturity, add the principal 10,000 plus the interest 1,000. So we have 11,000 pesos. For, for simple interest, at the end of one year, we have 10,200 pesos. At the end of two years, so we have 10,400. And for 30, we have 10,600. And for fourth year, we have 10,800. And for fifth year, we have 11,000 pesos. That's how we compute simple interest. Next, we have for compound interest. At the end of its first year, we have the interest is 10,000, which is the principal times rate, which is 0 0.02 times 1 is equal to 200 pesos. To find for the maturity value, we're going to add 200 to 10,000 pesos, which is the principal. So we have the maturity value now is 10,200 pesos. At the end of its second year, we have the interest is computed as the principal for this time is 10,200 because the interest for the previous year is already added as principal. So we have 10,200 times 0 0.02 times 1 because we're going to compute only for one year. So that is 200 pesos. For the maturity value, Add 204 pesos to the principal 10,200, so we have 10,404 pesos. At the end of its third year, we have the interest is 10,404 for this time because the interest is already added to the principal times 0 0.02 times 1 because we're going to compute for one year only. So that's equivalent to 208 pesos and 8 centavos. To find for the maturity value, we're going to add 10,400 pesos plus 208 and 8 centavos, which is equivalent to 10,612 pesos and 8 centavos. At the end of fourth year, the principal now is 10,612 pesos and 8 centavos times 0 0.02 times 1, so we have 212 pesos and 24 centavos. So the maturity value is 10,612 and 8 centavos plus 212 and 24 centavos, which is equivalent to 10,824 pesos and 32 centavos. So this will be now the principal for the fifth year which is 10,824.32 times 0 0.02 times another one year, which is equivalent to 216.49. And to find for the maturity value, we have 10,824.32 plus 216.49 is equal to 11,040 pesos and 81 centavos. So this is how we compute for the compound interest. At the end of first year or one year, we have 10,200. For its second year, we have 10,404. For third year, we have 10,612 and 8 centavos. After four years, we have 10,824.32. And at the end of five years, we have 11,040 pesos and 81 centavos. So for simple interest, you can observe that the principal remains constant throughout the investment term. And after 5 years, the maturity value or your money will be 11,000 pesos. While in compound interest, you can observe that the interest from the previous years also earns interest. And the interest grows every year. And after five years, your money or the maturity value will be 11,040 pesos and 81 centavos. 
So let's try to compare now the simple interest and how we compute for the compound interest. So to find for the interest gain from simple and compound interest, first for simple interest, after five years, the maturity value is 11,000 less the principal, which is 10,000 pesos. So therefore you gained 1,000 pesos, which is the offer of the cooperative. And for compound interest, after five years, the maturity value is 11,040 pesos and 81 centavos, less the principal 10,000. So therefore you gain one thousand forty and eighty one pesos which is the offer of the bank now think of it which do you prefer is it the offer of the cooperative or the offer of the bank okay so that is your decision so for your activity that is complete me you're going to illustrate simple interest by completing the given table so the first half is done for you so the principal here is 5,000 pesos with a rate of 4% so for the solution we're going to multiply the principal 5,000 and the rate 0 0.04 times time which is 1 so the interest is 200 pesos to find for the maturity 5,000 plus 200 that is equal to 5,200 pesos for two years so the principal is 5000 times the rate 0 0.04 times t is 2 so the interest is 400 then to find for the maturity add 400 to 5000 so we have 5400 pesos for third year we have 5000.04 times 3 which is equivalent to 600 so 5000 plus 600 is equal to 5600 which is the maturity value and after four years, the principal is 5,000 times rate 0 0.04 times T is 4. So we have the interest of 800. So therefore, the maturity value is 5,800 pesos. And you're going now to continue by computing after five years, six, seven, and eight years. That is your first activity for simple interest. And for compound interest, we have still the principal is 5,000, then the rate is 0 0.04, and T is 1, so the interest is 200. For the maturity value, 5,000 plus 200 is equal to 5,200 pesos. And after two years, the principal now will be 5,200 times 0 0.04, since we are computing for another one year, so we have times 1, is equal to 208 pesos. To find for the maturity, 5,200 plus the interest, 208. So we have 5,408 pesos. And for third year, we have 5,408 pesos times 0 0.04 times 1 is equal to 216 pesos and 32 centavos. So we have... 5,624.32 and you're going now to compute for after 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 years. Okay, for activity 2, that is dig deeper. So you're going to analyze and illustrate the given situation using the table provided and answer the questions that follow. Suppose you want to invest 10,000 pesos in the bank for 6 years. The Land Bank of the Philippines LBB offers 12% annual, annual simple interest rate per year. Banco de Oro or BD offers 12% compounded annually. Which will you choose and why? So the table is provided for you but you're going to complete that by fill Writing the principal rate, solution, answer, and maturity value. And for compound interest, write the principal rate, solution, answer, and maturity value. That is one year to five years. And then after, you compute for the simple and 
compound interest, answer which will you choose and why. And for your reflection, answer how did you find the activity. Write in a separate sheet of paper. And that's all for our first topic for this week. Again, this is Teacher Riza saying, May every single New Year make you glad always and sparkle with positivity. Happy New Year and always stay safe. That's all. Goodbye and thank you. Till our next topic again.